Hoi there, it is I, Rain Hat, and I'm here to tell you why you and your concept art suck. Making corrective changes to a 3D model is not on par with making a corrective change to 2D art, so giving your 3D modeler a concept art that you are madly in love with will also give you a way better chance of getting a 3D model that you feel similarly towards. I usually can get a basic concept art done in around 10 hours. With models, we're looking at 60 to 100 hours, so harass your 2D artist to get a good concept art instead of your 3D modeler. For example, why would you walk to the next city over when public transport allows you to hop on the back of the dude next to you and have them walk you there? At that point, it's common sense. If you're making the concept art, the more details and views, the better. But don't make things hard on yourself. Draw details larger on the side. Jewelry? bows, patterns, you can only fit so much on one person. Having three pixels for the necklace won't cut it. Treat pixels like words in a sentence. The more of which of the many that you possess the capacity of doing in the input of the position in the sentence, many of context to marinate. Understand to elaborate the better. Speaking of elaborating pixels, I probably got asked this two and a half times, so obviously everybody here wants to know. I've been using the same Wacom MT450 for the past decade. It was a hand-me-down, but still works great, even if it doesn't look so great. What does look great, though, hear me out, companies giving me free stuff for no good reason, like XP Pen giving me their Deco LW. <laughs> popped into any of my recent Twitch streams, you might have heard me debating whether or not throwing it out of my window to see if it breaks counts as a review. Well, the chances of me doing that today is very unlikely, but never zero. Anyway, I made this with it. Wow, crazy. When you draw on the tablet, stuff shows up, wait for it, on your screen. Couldn't do that with my Wacom. Absolutely wild. I used to be maidenless before I started using this tablet. Now look at me, maidens everywhere. I also grow a foot taller. It works great in Critter, the drawing software I use. But in Blender, eh, I don't know what's interfering with it. They don't know, but this little lag thing that it's doing here goes away when you draw slowly. Um, but do you think I have the time to draw slowly when I have all these maidens? No. Hopefully they fix it, wherever it is. My Wacom doesn't do that, so I don't know, get good. I guess it doesn't matter if you're not drawing all your textures in Blender. I only use Blender a little bit, to be fair. Let me say it again for the people in the back. XP Pen Deco LW. It exists, I use it, it still works. Buy it if you want. Speaking of drawing, back to concept art. Stop making us guess proportions. Your character has no business being midway through a backflip in a concept art. Contrary to popular belief, 3D modelers are not gods. They cannot unpose your model perfectly in their minds. Our guesses and your guesses won't always line up because clients always guess wrong. So get it hashed out in the concept art first before you start complaining about how the legs are shorter or longer than you imagine. Turn on the symmetry front facing. Stop playing these games. We are not going to make both sides of your model. We use mirror modifiers wherever we can. So use it too. Don't turn your character 40 degrees. Don't put one foot in front of the other. Don't put one arm up, left arm in, no hokey pokey. The only turn around I want you doing is back out the front door to get me a new concept art. Asymmetry should be used for the purpose of character design, not to make your concept art cuter. If you want a cute drawing, commission one for your birthday, not for your 3D modeler. Now, what pose do we want? A pose. Not any old pose, but this one. I will tolerate a T pose. That one can get a B grade. An arms down can get a C. But A is top marks. That's how a lot of us modellers work anyway, at least the ones with an IQ higher than the amount of nostrils on an anime schoolgirl. That's zero. I'm calling you stupid. Some poses affect the overall vision of the model less than others. But why tiptoe around using a mirror? It just means that you draw almost 50% less art. That's 50% extra time you could be spending with your maidens. Now when I say nude, imagine a Barbie doll. That's one thing girls and 3D models have in common. They both don't pee or poop, so genital details are not necessary. It does help having a nude reference on the model if the design has a lot of layers or baggy clothing and you want to have a base model for additional outfits and stuff. No need to send your model a hentai unless they specifically request it. 
side view priority over back view. Side view tells us a lot about how big you want certain things to be. Butt, chest, head, nose, lips, everything. We can't tell how big you want your butt from the front view or back view. Same with the other details. Keep back views for important clothing details that you care about. If you don't care about it, let the modeler guess it out and commission a side view instead. To elaborate a bit more on the side view, Line that shit up, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You will approach a point where your efforts to get a side view will be pointless for visualising the 3D model. 3D is not 4D. If it doesn't line up in 2D, it will not look like the reference, simply put. Art style. If you don't want the model to look like concert art, don't give it to us. I don't know why this would even be an option for people, but here I am bringing it up because I've seen it happen. You can get better concept art. Don't be cheap about it, please, honestly. If you can't afford good concept art, I don't know what you're doing trying to get a 3D model. Now, obviously, this stuff only matters if your modeler uses concept art to the fullest, instead of making it their own. Make sure to research your 3D modelers to see the kind of art they do and work with, especially if they stream their work. Don't just throw random stuff at random people and hope they can figure it out along the way. I used to just work with anything clients gave to me, but realised the constant back and forth was not worth it, for me or for them, and the chances of them not being pleased with the final product is far greater, which I don't want to deal with. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Get some good concept art now, will ya? A very, very thank you to the Patreons. Crimjoy, Dangleberry, Dystopian Shell, Mike Core, Spud the Cat, Lularoo, Harold Bar Bennett's, Abba Lols. Kyle D. Bowers, Soet, Joanne Seal. Farewell.